In this video I will show a technique of unfolding a cone modeled by a regular pyramid like this one. This green pyramid will be our model of a cone. Uh, what we will do will start by these two faces, these two faces, and uh, use my technique to unfold the complete uh, regular pyramid having a base which is a regular decagon. But we will start with an hexagon. Let us delete first this figure and we start with this point S which is the summit of our cone and now the circle which will be the base of our cone passing through this point we represent this point also which is the intersection point measure the length of this circle and as we want to represent an hexagon will display with a calculator number 6 here yeah. divide this number by 6 obtain this number and use the measurement transfer tool on this circle starting from this point with measurement transfer this number on this circle starting from this point but in the other direction which is here so we have here the first triangle first face of our pyramid which is here triangle as this point and this point. As we want to unfold the pyramid which is not constructed here um, around this segment SC or this point C uh, and as we want to unfold it on a special plane with a tangent to our cone along SC we need to construct a parallel line to this one from this point and represent this plane which is the plane containing this edge and this one. As we want to rotate this triangle we have only to rotate this point around SC so we need to construct a circle around SC passing through here and create the intersection point and we need to unfold this triangle from here to here instead of creating a point and an intermediate triangle here we'll create a slider to command a point here but first of all we have to construct the the arc to be sure to have all, always this arc uh, we create first the midpoint of this point and this point and after that the plane on which lies this circle which is the perpendicular plane to this line passing through this point and we have the center of this circle with the point here we create the ray from this center to here hide this point and define the intersection point with a circle which is here and we are able to create this arc on which we will lie a point so the arc from here to 
to here to here and now we'll hide this ray hide show and hide this plane and for the moment hide this plane hide also this point hide show now we create with a perpendicular line here and a segment on this line the slider which will command a point here point here side of this point point size biggest measure the lengths of this segment the distance between this point and this point and with the calculator evaluate the ratio between this number and this number to obtain a number between 0 and 1 0 here and 1 here calculator this number divided by this number insert which is here now we measure the length of this arc and if we multiply this number by this ratio with a calculator this number multiply by this one we obtain a number between 0 you see and the length of the arc 104 with the measurement transfer tool we transfer this number on this circle from this point change the direction with control and obtain this point which is the intermediate position of this point when we drag it from here to here so we can create the in intermediate triangle which is here from here to here and to C and hide the first one which is unuseful hide show and you see that if we drag this point we can rotate the triangle from the initial position to the plane tangent to the cone and now we can hide that or push it here and here now we'll use the plane defined by this vertical and this one to reflect this triangle with the tool reflection with a plane in this plane of this triangle so with a slider we can obtain unfolding of the beginning of our pyramid what can we do to model the other part of the pyramid the technique is very simple you need to use the perpendicular bisector of this point C and this point and reflect the first this triangle with respect to this one to so reflect in this plane of this one and you obtain this and you can see that you can model it like this and like this and like this let us hide this one hide this plane and reflect the triangle we have obtained with respect to this plane reflection in this plane of this one 
and we obtain the following stage, which is the good one, and after that we use the same algorithm perpendicular bisector of this point and this point and reflect reflect in this plane this one and now also reflect in this plane this one hide this plane and we see that we have modal our hexagon if we want to have a better modeling we need to change this number onto for example 10 double click change 6 on 10 apply and you see the sides are not so big and we continue with the same algorithm perpendicular bisector of this point and this point let us check if I've not made a mistake and now reflection with this plane this one and uh, reflection with this plane on this one continue another stage height show perpendicular bisector this point and this point reflection reflection with in this plane of this triangle and reflection in this plane of this triangle height show this one and what can we obtain we can see that we have our cone model with a pyramid we can hide that hide this plane and if we want to have a better modeling and better unfolding we can change here for this triangle the border style empty for this one the border style empty uh, sorry this triangle border style empty 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 and so on and if we show again the plane on which this plane I think might show on which we unfold the cone you see that really we unfold the cone from here to here that's complete presentation of my technique